Hi, this is Ashlyn with Bellevue Avenue and Ashlyn May Photography and I am going to walk you through a quick tutorial to show you how to use our leaf and branch overlays. In our first image, all I'm going to do is go to File, Place, and then I'll navigate to the leaf and branch overlays folders and in this image I want to use one of the falling leaf overlays rather than the single leaf. So I'm going to go through here and actually go back up to Leaf and Branch Overlays 2 to the Falling Leaves folder and I'm going to use Falling Leaves 1 and then I click Place. These are transparent PNG overlays so you won't have to worry about blend modes with a black or white background. So as you can see they just place very cleanly. I'm actually going to expand this just a tiny bit and then come up here and click the check mark to place it. As you can see there are some leaves covering him so I'm going to erase those off by using a layer mask. So what I'm going to do is go down here and click on layer mask. Next I'm going to choose a soft paintbrush. Make sure it's black so that I can brush off the leaves and opacity at 100% and flow at 100%. Then I'm going to go over here and just start brushing off any leaves that I don't want on him or anywhere else on the image. So I don't want this leaf here. This one's kind of distracting here so I'm gonna erase that as well as probably this. and a few other of these. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do. So there is the before and after. Okay, let's do one more. In this image, I'm going to do another falling leaves overlay. Go to File, Place, and I am going to use number five. This one has a really neat blowing effect. It looks like the leaves are kind of swirling around. Again, just click place with that check mark. Like the other image, there is a leaf over her that I don't like, so I'm going to add a layer mask, choose my soft black paintbrush, and just brush it right off. And that's all there is to it. You can also place leaves individually by using the individual leaves. Those are good if you just want a single leaf in your image, but I tend to like the falling leaves because it gives a lot of leaves all at once. So it's up to you and there's tons to play with and we hope you enjoyed the tutorial.